Hello everybody, today we're looking at the difference between XEQT and VEQT. Uh, virtually identical funds, uh, although VEQT is a slightly bigger, uh, not slightly bigger, almost twice as big as XEQT. They have a slightly lower dividend yield than XEQT and both funds function almost exactly the same, I'm not going to lie. There's um, an MER that is 20% higher on VEQT side, but 20% higher than, you know, virtually nothing is still nothing. The MERs are super low on these. Uh, they both are 100% in stocks. I know it says 0.4 and 0.7 in cash. We don't really talk about those. Um, in each fund, the stocks under management, and I it won't actually say this in this sheet, but under VEQT, about 13,660 stocks, and XEQT has about 9,550 stocks. And that is a bit of a big difference. I mean, uh, it does kind of sound like a $0.8 billion difference, to be honest with you. So no surprise there that VEQT does have more uh, stocks under management than XEQT. Uh, both funds have performed virtually identical as well not a big difference between the two here um, they both have identical portfolios and when I say identical I mean Vanguard obviously holds all Vanguard stuff and BlackRock obviously holds all the BlackRock stuff but the indexes that they're mimicking are very similar and we'll keep looking into that uh, I'm gonna hold this page for you know pause it if you'd like three two one and virtually identical I, I don't know the big standard outs here healthcare you know one percent more on XEQT side um, you know everything's within one to a half a percent difference not not a big difference between the two as a matter of fact the biggest difference that I see is XEQT actually has less money in Canada than VEQT and has more money in America which uh, to me is a bigger deal uh, historically speaking uh, Canada has underperformed America so I'm actually a little more glad to see this I also am more glad to see uh, Japan and U UK as a higher portions of the portfolios uh, and then as we go down um, XEQT, um, I keep saying um, XEQT has more stake in other emerging markets in other countries and you know that's fairly apparent just a little bit more in, in every country with a very, a very few exceptions you know Philippines here very few exceptions to this uh, personally I do like XEQT I've, I've reiterated that across many um, but the two portfolios I don't imagine over the long run will make a drastic difference unless there's drastic changes between their, uh, their allocation of what they own. So you're getting a very uh, broad base with XEQT. Uh, I would see XEQT doing a little better than VEQT if uh, the emerging markets funds or other countries other than Canada and US are having a better time during let's say a recession or uh, financial hardships if those smaller countries or smaller cap countries in this index are performing better then I do believe that VE or XEQT will outperform VEQT uh, one thing I'd like to see and I'm not too sure how this works is if the XEQT could become a 1.9 billion dollar and increase the size of how much they have under management that would be very nice to see but we will see and you know I won't hold my breath but uh, this is something that I, I have a you know I have a big stake in 50% of my portfolio I say big stake a big stake for a 26 year old so anyways guys have a good one see ya